Hello, ukulele families. Once again, Mr. Koenig here to uh, wrap up and recap our lesson from this week. First of all, let me just say what a gigantic pleasure it is teaching this class. Oh my goodness. Your children are fantastic. They have wonderful learning attitudes. Uh, we have a healthy dose of competition in class, and everybody just seems to enjoy making music. We're just having a great time, and um, it, it is really humbling and, and neat to get to spend that time. So thank you for sharing your children and their education with me. And hopefully we can have a couple songs down pat here in a couple weeks. Um, we're working on Twinkle Twinkle today uh, <clears throat> primarily because it does extend beyond a lot of the notes that we were playing before. Um, it goes all the way from a C below the staff to an A uh, on the staff. And so there, there's a whole bunch of notes in there, and we want to make sure that we're getting them all. So one of the things that I did with the students today was I called out notes. And just the, whoever got it first got a point. Yeah, it's a silly little game, right? So students, if you have your ukulele with you, I'll call out some notes and you can at home play them and then I'll play them and see if yours match mine. About C. That's right. Open third string. G. F. D. Second fret of that third string. C. A. That's an open first string. G. 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 A. G. G. F. C. D. E. G, G, F, F. Now, parents, if you are feeling adventurous and you want to help your child practice, and I know it might not sound perfect and it might not um, come across as a song, you can as well call out letter names to your child and see if they can remember where they are. The musical alphabet goes from A to G, and um, we can play all of those notes. They're just in different places. We start with our lowest note being C, and then play D, E, F, G, and A. We know those notes, A, B, C, E, F, G. We haven't done B yet. Sorry, that's one note that we haven't done. We'll get there. Um, so you can just call out like I want. G, C, E, uh, and make it a little bit of a game. Now, Twinkle Twinkle, I have in that Google Drive folder that I've shared with you. If you uh, ever lose it or can't remember how to get there or need that link again, just send me an email and I'll get to you. But here's Twinkle Twinkle. And what we did today was to call out the letters of the notes. When I play the game with them, we're doing maybe three notes at a time. When I do this, we're doing many, many notes, like 44 in the whole song. So that means that they have to not only be able to see and recognize the notes and their note names, but also then translate that into playing it on the instrument. I'll show you in a sec. So in other words, as they're practicing, one of the things that they can do to make it um, to connect to what we just did was to point out the notes and say what the note names are. C, C, G, G, A, A, G. Now, uh, if your child still has their paper that I printed out for them, they should have those note names written in. If they don't, then feel free to uh, let me know and I can help them out there. But C, C, G, G, A, A, G. Once we get past about five notes, it's hard to start to memorize. See, when I call out note names like C, C, G, they get that. They know three notes in a row. Four notes in a row, perfect. 
five notes, that's where our youth brain is starting to um, lose track. And so that's why the written notation is kind of important. So practice strategy is to call out those note names and then play the first line. That should be pretty easy for them. That's the first one that we worked on and the one that we've done the most. Second phrase, F, F, E, E, D, D, C. If those are written in, then when they say it, F, F, E, 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 D, D, C, they should be able to play it pretty steadily. We pointed out today, just as another practice strategy, that the first two lines, the first two phrases, are exactly, and we mean exactly, the same as the last two. So once we have the first two lines down pat, we've got the last two. Another pattern is this. Up above the world so high, like a diamond in the sky. Those two phrases are also exactly the same as one another. So, <laughs> essentially, once your child has learned half of the song, they've learned the whole song. Up above the world so high. That third phrase is very similar to the second phrase, only it starts on G. G, G, F, F, E, E, D, which would sound like... I'll play the whole thing uh, for you just in case uh, you want to listen along um, or play along. Uh, let's see. Oh, that made it larger. I'm looking for smaller. Okay. Anyhow, if you look on, on your page, it would sound something like this. If your child sounds like that, you should be very, very pleased. And if they sound almost like that, you should be very, very pleased. Um, if they get one line or two lines, that's fine as well. Keep uh, asking them to find five minutes to just play through and see if they can get it a little bit better. Uh, I always tell them uh, any progress is progress. If they can get one extra note uh, correct or one extra note sounding better the next time, that is progress. If it's just a little bit better, it's better. And so uh, encourage them when you hear things that are better, tell them as, as such. Um, but keep on practicing. Try to get in as many days a week as you can. We have some kids that are getting in seven days a week, which is super duper shout out to those uh, we've got a couple that maybe don't have nearly as many but are still making great progress because of their wonderful learning attitude so uh, keep it up guys if you have any questions let me know um, and until next time we'll see you later happy practicing